All right, another question. I was raised Catholic. I was uh, I have an aunt that was a nun. Uh, I have a whole line of Catholics going way back in my family history. Uh, I was an altar boy. Uh, went to Catholic school through eighth grade, and so I was taught. Uh, as many of our viewers were taught also, I'm sure we have a lot of viewers that were Catholic, prob probably some uh, that are still Catholic. Uh, does the Bible teach purgatory? Where, where does the subject of purgatory come from? I see you deal with it a lot in your book. Yeah, we do. Um, what is Question. it? Is there such a place? Biblical yeah. support, so forth. You got four questions. Question... Yeah. Uh, uh, 15, what is the doctrine of purgatory? Is there such place as purgatory? Question 16. Question 17, is there any biblical support for purgatory? Then question 18, why is purgatory such an attractive belief for so many people? Then limbo, lib limbus, and phantom rails. We'll talk about that too. All right, purgatory is a doctrine that is not scriptural. It's got no scriptural basis whatsoever. It uh, was invented by the Roman Catholic Church. Uh, let's face it, it's a way to get money from the people. But what they were taught is uh, believers that died didn't go only if you're a saint or, you know, or if someone very special, you don't go directly to heaven. You go to a kind of a halfway place between earth and heaven called purgatory, where you will be purged to become perfect or acceptable into heaven. In other words, Jesus didn't do enough. You've got to still have to suffer more. Now, what's interesting, Tom, uh, depending on who you believe, the purging of the, uh, the the process there in purgatory can last somewhere from a few hours to a few thousand years, depending on who you believe. But to get out of that, you have prayers by priests that'll pray. But again, when you give money, that can help or pray that can the priest can pray that personage out of this purgatory. There's no such thing as purgatory, <laughs> either with the Lord immediately or without him. Uh, there's no, there's, you know, the judgment. The, Jesus Christ, 2 Corinthians 5, 21, the one who knew no sin became an offering for our sin that we might be made the righteousness in him. He finished it. He paid it all. We don't pay. We can't pay the price. We don't pay the price in this life or the next life. Uh, we can't bring anything to the party. We have to come by faith in Christ as sinners. And as a sinner, saved by grace, the meter when we die, we're in the presence of the Lord. There's no place of purging. There's no place that someone needs to pay the church to uh, bail us out of that. Just doesn't work. So we got that in quite a bit of detail. In fact, one of the other books... I've written on the on the Bible itself. We talk about is the Bible with final authority on all matters. We talk about the Roman Catholic Church, their view of authority versus the Protestant view, where we go on that in great detail also. But purgatory does not exist. It's not a biblical concept, and most Roman Catholics admit that. Uh, that, but you know, they say, well, it's kind of the direction it's pointing, but it's not really in Scripture. No, it isn't. It's not there at all in the passages they use, like in Isaiah, they use one in Second Maccabees, first Second Maccabees, I believe it, in the Apocalypse books, and then a couple others that have nothing to do, nothing to do with any type of purging after this life. Mm -hmm. uh, so I, I found the doctrine of purgatory quite appealing to me before I was saved because I wasn't exactly the best person in the world. And I'm thinking, okay, I was baptized as an infant. Hey, if these guys are right, you know, the priest and the Catholic Church is right, I'll go and suffer for a while, but eventually I'll be out of it and I'll be in the I'll I'll be in heaven. But then I, you know, uh, God was drawing me me to Him, and then I remember reading Hebrews chapter nine. It's appointed to man once to die and then face the judgment. But uh, yeah, the doctrine of purgatory is appealing, and yeah. but it's not true. Exactly, it's very appealing because it figures well. If I didn't quite live up to snuff in this life, you know, God will take it out on me, you know, in purgatory, but I'll get there eventually. I'm, I'm okay. You know, if he graves on a curve, I'm okay. <laughs> the grave yeah. on a curve. Yeah.